What's up everybody? Rant and Rich here. Back with another one. Okay, so just got done watching UFC 259. That was the event that took place this weekend. Incredible event, I gotta say, from beginning to end. Most of the fights were pretty crazy, uh, in a good way, of course. Uh, a lot of finishes, even in the, the beginning, the early prelims, there were five out of six finishes. Most of those were KO, TKO, but we had one submission win by, I'm pulling it up right now, Sean Brady. Uh, beat Jake Matthews. Jake Matthews was was one of my favorite fighters at one point. He didn't look horrible. He looked actually pretty good. But um, he, yeah, Sean Brady just got the best of him and got him into submission and was just wearing on him, wearing on him hard. Um, anyway, so yeah, that was a very, very exciting, surprisingly exciting card. These early prelims, we move on to the prelims. There was only one finish and that was Car of France wins by K KO, TKO. And then we have um, the other three, including that upset with Dominic Cruz, I know he is a fan favorite, but he wasn't the favorite according to Vegas, coming in as a plus 110, a very, very slight underdog, ends up winning by split decision, and then we had three other decisions on that. Okay, so moving on to the main card, I'm actually going to skip over that first fight. I know fighters don't intentionally make boring fights, but between the two of them, it was done. We don't even need to say their names or anything. You guys know who I'm talking about if you guys watch the fight. Um, but moving on to uh, Makachev versus Dober. Makachev definitely, definitely got the best of Drew Dober. I've always been a big fan of Drew Dober, but he just did not show up tonight. Just wasn't enough. Um, that wrestling and uh, finally a submission win by Makachev. Didn't have any answers. And uh, that was a clean victory by Islam Makachev. Welcome back, sir. Welcome back. Okay, so moving on to the first title fight of the night. Petr Jan took on Aljamain Sterling. Some say it was controversial. I don't call this controversial at all. It was just a complete disqualification, and, and rightly so. Petr Jan wasn't only warned by the ref, and you don't always get that. As a fighter, you don't always get that. He was warned that Aljamain Sterling, he's down. Your opponent is down. That should just click automatically. Now, I know I heard Joe Rogan, and I'm not sure if DC or any of the other commentators chimed in, but I know Joe Rogan had said something that his cornermen were telling him to kick while Aljamain Sterling was grounded, which doesn't make any sense. Even if that really did happen, I mean, it's up to the fighter in the octagon doing the damage to make sure he doesn't knee an opponent while they're down because, of course, that's illegal. And Rogan had brought that up quite a few times. I don't know what he was trying to do or get at. I don't know if he was trying to kind of push all the blame on his cornerman. It's, it's kind of like similar to if you're driving a car and you have a passenger next to you and you have two people in the back and the passenger is saying, no, 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 go straight. Let's say that you're lost or you know where you're going. And the person behind you is saying, no, 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 take a left, take a left. And they're, they're kind of going back and forth. And then the person behind you to the right of you in the back of you is saying, no, 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 take a right, take a right. And everything's going on, all this com commotion. It's like, oh, listening to everybody and driving your car into a tree or off a cliff. I mean, if you're in the driver's seat, you are responsible, not only for yourself, but the other people around you. <laughs> Jan is in the driver's seat in this position. He had to stay focused, pay attention to what's going on. He got a clear, clear warning. It's not that it was controversial. A lot of times these things will be like a controversial, did he have a hand down? Did he have a knee down? This was clear cut. As a professional, as a champion, having a lot of fights under his belt, he should have known better. And I'm glad actually he got, got disqualified and lost the fight. Now, with that being said, Jan was up in my book and he had a good chance of, of winning that fight and beating Aljamain Sterling and keeping his belt. But because of that sloppiness or that, that one second of getting too overzealous, he ends up kneeing somebody in the face, clearly, clearly illegal. 
and ends up losing his belt. So, um, yeah, I'm sure they're going to do a rematch. I definitely want to see that fight again. I'm sure Aljo learned a lot from that. I'm sure Jan also learned a lot from that to not knee his opponent. I bet you, I bet you, bet you, bet you that will not happen again. All right, so moving on to the co-main event, Amanda Nunes took on Megan Anderson. Most of the world knows what happened on that. Very, very short work. Very short night for Amanda Nunes. She gets in there, gets a paycheck, and it's going to hop down, back down to 135. Very interesting. She's going back and forth. A lot of fighters don't do that. They'll focus on one. Even after getting two, they'll focus on one. Uh, she is a true, true champion. An exciting fighter. Very, very exciting fighter. The UFC, they are lucky to have Amanda Nunes on their roster. I mean, she dominates. She looks great while she's doing it. Got easy, easy light work tonight on Megan Anderson. Megan Anderson, I don't even know if she threw a punch. I'm sure she did. Uh, I haven't looked at the stats yet, but I, I don't really need to look at the stats. I mean, Amanda Nunez was that dominant in that performance. Everybody's talking about the GOAT. They never talk about Amanda Nunez. I'm, I'm hoping that after this fight, she's going to be in that top tier with this GOAT conversation. Everybody's always talking about the GOAT. You know, John Jones at one point, Demetrius Johnson, all these other fighters, GSP. Not Amanda Nunez. I think Amanda Nunez needs to be in that conversation seriously. Okay, so moving on to the main event. Yes, after all this has been said and done, we haven't gotten to the main event yet. Uh, Israel Asanya took on Jan Blakowicz. Israel Asanya moving up from 185 pounds to 205. He weighed, I think, a pound or two under 205. And Blakowicz was obviously the bigger dude. He had to cut weight to get down to his fight weight, which is 205 pounds. Blakowicz ends up winning by unanimous decision. Uh, wasn't the most exciting fight. It was kind of back and forth. I kind of had it almost tied. I, I wasn't sure which way it was going to go. Until the fourth round, that's when Blakowicz really dominated with those takedowns and being the heavier guy, the bigger guy on top. Israel Asanya is not really known for his jiu-jitsu. Couldn't get out of it. He just couldn't escape uh, Blakowicz. Blakowicz did absolutely no damage in my opinion. I mean, he did get more strikes. Total strikes, significant strikes, but what were significant about a lot of those strikes when he was on top? I mean, I don't know. You guys know how the judging system goes. Uh, it's really not based on damage exactly, so um, I don't know what was significant about them. But anyway, Plakowicz wins. Congrats to him. Israel Sanya. I'm going to think that he's going to go back down to his division because he's not going to get another title shot right away. And uh, yeah, I mean, that was it. Um, um, some of those early prelim finishes were just incredible. And then Amanda Nunes just shows her dominance. I mean, she is an exciting fighter. She's a dominant fighter. And I hope she does this for a very, very long time. Um, you know, you, you need those fighters in an organization, especially like the UFC. You need those fighters to really step it up and show what a, a fighter can be. I mean, and that's Amanda Nunes for sure. Again, I want to put her in the GOAT conversation after this fight. Not that Mika Anderson was that tough. Obviously, she's not. But with that, you got to respect Amanda Nunes just for having this run that she's had. Took out the giant cyborg. Took out Ronda Rousey. And, and is just doing it in dominant, dominant fashion. I don't know who else is out there really for her to fight. So, uh, yeah. Shevchenko, she drops back down. Valentina Shevchenko, that's a good one. Uh, we will have to just wait and see. So that's all I got, just a quick recap on those fights. I'm actually going to go watch the post-fight conference. I know it already taped and took place, but I'm going to go on YouTube right now and check that out. So hope you guys enjoyed the fights. Hope you had a good night. And if you are betting, hope you won some money. If you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell next to the subscribe button so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. And until next time, as always, Rant Rich here, signing out. I'm out of here. Latest.